Okay, acantamoeba, acantamoeba keratitis. Description. Acantamoeba are ubiquitous free living protozoans that only rarely infect the cornea. They exist in an active form, a tropozoite, and is highly resilient, dormatic cystic form. Infections usually, although not always, occur in the presence of a defined risk factors. Known risk factors include contact lens usage, especially in association with poor disinfections. Typically, soft contact lenses, although the, uh, the disease has been reported with rigid lenses, and exposure to pool or spa water, especially in association with an epithelial abrasions. This disease is often missed in its early stage and a high degree of suspicion should be maintained for any painful epithelial that does not respond to normal treatment, especially in patients with known risk factors. Symptoms Symptoms include blurred vision with associated pain that is frequently disproportionate to the degree of the clinical sign. Photophobia is also typical of this disease and often initially worsened after commencement of treatment. The infection is bilateral in a significant percentage of patients. Signs Initially, the disease is typified by an epi epitheliopathy with associated limbitis. At this stage, it is commonly mistaken for herpes simplex keratitis. Over a period of weeks, stromal signs develop with patchy anterior stromal infiltrate that may be associated with a pathognomic radial pyoneuritis, a weasel ring, and a hypopian. Untreated, it progresses to stromal thinning, epithelial defects, and scler scleritis. Significant site threatening requires prompt investigations and treatment. Management. Contact lens should be seized immediately in both eyes. They may be reintroduced when the infection is totally cleared, usually after at least six months. Therapeutic. Commence treatment of the disease with specific anti amibot drug only after positive microbial investigations. Prognosis. The treatment of this disease was greatly improved with the introduction of the first truly cystocidal drug in the early 1990s. This, coupled with an increasing rapid diagnosis with as awareness of this disease has improved, has led to much better visual outcomes with many patients regaining normal vision.